Hey guys, it's George here and welcome to how to cram on the night of the exam or this can also be applied to like now-ish time because you've only got like two, three weeks I think and then obviously you've got like a few months before other exams but the first one soon but uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to show you basically how I crammed on the night before I've experienced with this before anyone else because I had to do this for computing that's why I only got a C because I went in there knowing basically nothing about the exam because all we did was coursework all year and uh came out with a C, basically went from a G to a C, so it's not a bad turnout. You can't expect an A star cramming the night before the exam. And also, look at it, wow, this is my Instagram's randomly be on there, shameless plug. But um, yeah, I'm gonna move straight on to uh, the next bit, so. All right guys, basically, uh, if you're gonna start cramming, what you need to do is you need to get an overall, top, like, you know, reliance on what is actually on the content. Uh, so I'm just gonna do, use chemistry C1 for this example. It can be used for like, maths well certain maths papers uh com obviously computing not so much like english language but yeah basically can get right into it my first recommendation watch the whole of aqa sign watch all of this um uh, so it's basically the entire content in 72 minutes you've got plenty of time to do this let's say you finish school at three you get home by four then you got to about like 11 o'clock to revise so plenty of time so watch all of this take the odd notes little mind maps you know what i mean and then basically move over to here go on to Past papers, go do all of them from to do try and find the 2017 ones online somewhere, but do all of them for, and maybe even the 2013 ones. So I don't know where they are though. And also specimen papers, which are uh, at the bottom. So they're extra ones. <laughs> Gotta love it. And uh, also ignore my face. Uh, at the moment, I just came back from rugby and I'm looking a bit more bun than usual. Um, so yeah, basically, um, mark your questions. Let's say you only get like 20 out of 60. Write down what you got wrong, so like fill in the questions, so like if you didn't answer it or you got it wrong, just fill it in and, you know, kind of copy the example one in your own words, because uh, that's how it's going to go into your long-term memory by repeating it. And uh, yeah, all the things you got wrong, write them down in a little notepad, then move over to myguyfreesciencelessons.com. So uh, let's say you get structure and bonding incorrect, and you're not very good at... Go away, YouTube. I've heard of... More than one of these, uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna. Who cares? Skip her. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, just watch, watch uh, the video. So I, I like bonding. Let's say you got that wrong. Uh, watch the entire video. Take some notes. And once you've done that, you should be good. And you can see me in the reflection. Uh, so yeah, watch the entire video. Uh, take notes, and then go back to the question on the past paper. Do you get it? Have you got it right? Have you not got it right? And I recommend you print these off because you can use these for revision the next day on the morning so you can look at the questions that you found harder than others and obviously the, the only reason I'm saying past papers do it and like uh, other questions because nothing's better at finding out what you got wrong than actually ask, writing a question on it because you could think oh yeah I understand it but in different contexts um, how they write it it can be hard so once you've done all the past papers and you think you know it all uh, go over to it's quick fire see one questions well of course this would be like different for each one but um, literally look how many <laughs> How many there are? The uh, the first one I'd recommend doing is this one because uh, it's a hundred. Can't really fault that. And then obviously try and find the ones that are for your spec. So obviously nine to one. But I think the this one's from my one. The like F to A star. They a lot of the questions are still re relevant. So you know do do most of these. And uh, if you're still struggling, just redo the past paper, redo the question, and just keep on trying it because. It's, it won't hurt you, it won't kill you. So, um, yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's basically how to cram the night before the exam. You know, obviously try and get an early night. You want about six, six seven hours sleep at the least. A lot of people need like eight, but then obviously you want to get up early in the morning, go through your past papers, don't do some dumb shit like where you go, oh yeah, I need exactly eight hours sleep, so I'm going to lay in bed for another hour. Don't do that. Get up, revise, focus. And uh, yeah, uh, good luck to everyone taking their GCSEs and uh soon and yeah you might notice because the lights on my face now that i'm looking a bit beat up but uh yeah tonight i'll be filming um uh, evening routine as well but i'll be doing exam evening routine so hopefully this will help some of you guys just see what i do maybe something you can incorporate but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and i shall see you in the next one